a scene where Nari took his last breath. This is where the 40-year-old journalist was shot and killed. His family says he was just driving away after collecting a blanket. He found me, I was sitting washing blanket, but then I gave him the blankets. Distracted by the sound of the television set, his niece, Tyler, heard of the news the following day. It was something that was cleared overnight and they didn't even bother to come inside to ask. Since the, the, the person that they killed, he was coming from inside the house. I don't understand why they didn't come to us. The events of that Easter Monday detailed during trial. The accused argued they shot Nari's vehicle in self-defense. But the state failed to prove whether or not he had a gun on him. It could not prove that the officers had tampered with the crime scene either. And then the verdict exonerating the accused. All the accused are not found guilty on the charge of defeating the administration of justice. I then dismiss the application in respect to the arrest of the charges. The judge further ruled that the case was badly investigated and that the state's witnesses contradicted each other. No tampering happened. Basically, it was just the state making up a, a story. It is in cases like this where things go wrong, where, as, as the prosecution has I've said, we now have to do introspection. Jubilations for the accused, but for the victim's family, the grief continues. He cannot free the person who killed a person. That's unfair. The NPA says it will study the judgment before deciding if they will appeal. SABC News, Johannesburg.